Hi all, in this video we will discuss about selection statements. These selection statements are also called as conditional statements or decision making and branching statements. What is the importance of selection statements? For example, there is a situation to check whether given number is even or odd. To identify that, we have to check that number is divisible by 2 or not. Depending on that result, we can take that number is either even or odd. This involves a kind of decision making to see whether a particular condition has occurred or not. Then direct the computer to execute certain statements accordingly. So till now we have taken some programs in C language. In all those programs we are executing set of statements sequentially in which order they appear. But in selection statements case depending on decision, depending on the condition, if that condition is true we are executing some set of statements. If that condition is false, we can execute other set of statements. To implement this one, C language possess the following statements. One is a if statement, second one is a switch statements. These statements control the flow of execution. So, they are also called as control statements. Depending on the complexity of conditions, these if statements are divided into four forms. First one is simple if statement. Second one is if else statement. Third one is else if ladder. Fourth one is nested if else statement. First observe simple if statement. In the simple if statement, if test expression or condition is true, then the statement block which is present in the if block is executed. Otherwise, by skipping that statement block, control directly goes to the statement X. The following is the flowchart for simple if statement. You observe here first text expression is verified. If the text expression is true, then statement block is executed, then control goes to statement X. If text expression is false, that means that condition is failed, then the control directly goes to statement X without executing that statement block. Next if statement is if else statement. The following is the syntax of if else statement. If text expression, if that expression is correct, then these true block statements are executed, which are present in if block. If the text expression is false, then the else block statements are executed. In this case, it never executes both the blocks at a time. So, depending on the condition, if condition is true, if block statements are executed. If condition is false, else block statements are executed. In both the cases, after executing corresponding block statements, control is transferred to statement X. The following is the flowchart for if else statement. First, test expression is verified. If that one is true, then true block statements are executed. Those are if block statements are executed. After that, control goes to statement X. 
If test expression is false, then else block statements are executed, then control goes to statement X. So here, after executing either true block statements or false block statements, control goes to statement X. Next selection statement is else if ladder. In previous two cases, only one condition is verified. In the first case, in the simple if case, only condition is verified, only if block statements are executed. In the case of if else, condition is verified, depending on that condition, either if block or else block statements are executed. In this else if ladder case, we are checking multiple conditions. So, this is also called as multi-way selection statements. So, here first condition 1 is verified. If that condition 1 is true, the statements which are present in the corresponding block are executed. After executing those statements, control jumps to statement n. For example, if condition 1 is false, then condition 2 is verified. If condition 2 is true, then the statements which are present in that block are executed. After executing all the statements which are present in that block, control directly goes to statement n without checking remaining conditions. If all the conditions are false, then else block statements are executed. After that, control goes to statement N. The following is the flowchart for else if ladder. In this, first condition 1 is verified. If that is true, the statements which are present in that if block are executed, then control goes to statement X without checking remaining conditions. If condition 1 is false, then control goes to condition 2 checking. If that is true, the corresponding statements are executed, then control goes to statement X. If condition 2 also falls, then condition 3 verified and so on. If all the conditions are fail, then final else block statements are executed, then control goes to statement X. Next statement is a nested if else statement. Placing of one if else statement inside another if block or another else block is called as nested if else statement. When a series of decisions are involved, we may have to use more than one if else statement in the nested form. To observe the execution of this nested if else statement. Here, first test condition 1 is verified. If that is true, then test condition 2 is verified, which is present inside that particular block. If the test condition true, test condition 2 is also true, then statement 1 is executed then control goes to statement X. If test condition 2 fails, then statement 2 executed, then control goes to statement X. For example, if test condition 1 itself fails, then the control directly comes to else part. Then statement 3 executed, control goes to statement X. Here, in nested if else case, there is a possibility of dangling else problem. 
what do you meant by dangling else problem for every else there must be a corresponding if statement there must be a corresponding if if that particular if is not observed in our code then the dangling else problem will be erased so if you are writing else statement clearly we have to observe on if statement corresponding if is present or not the following is the flowchart for nested if else statement here first test condition is verified if that is true that is true then test condition 2 is verified if that one also true statement 1 is executed then control goes to statement x if test condition 2 is false statement 2 is executed control goes to statement x if test condition 1 itself fails then statement 3 executed then control comes to statement x next selection statement is a switch case statement here we have to use the following keywords to write switch case statements one is a switch case break and default so here in the switch we are giving either expression or value if you give expression that that expression is evaluated value you can take so directly you can give value also that expression value is verified is compared with all case values first that value is verified with the first case value one if both are matched then the statements which are present in that first case are executed then after executing those statements break encounters once break encounters control jumps out of switch case statement without executing remaining cases and default statement if expression value is not matched with the value one then expression value is compared with value two if those two are matched then corresponding statements are executed break encounters control comes out of the statement n like that uh, it verifies if con value case 2 also not match then case 3 is verified if case 3 also not match then case 4 is verified like that which case value is matched with uh, expression value corresponding statements are executed break encounters control comes out of the statement uh, switch loop that is a uh, switch block that is statement n if no case value is matched with the expression value if no case value is matched with expression value then default statements are executed here each case label is a keyword case followed by constant expression we need to give and no two case labels can have same constant expression value every case value must be a distinct one this default label is optional one if you want you can place otherwise you can avoid that one so but we can rec we recommend that uh, using a default statement as a last statement in the switch block. The following is the flowchart for switch case statement. So first one is multi-way expression is verified. So which case value is match corresponding statements are executed 
and you are coming out of that particular switch case statement. Here, if you want to execute only one case label sequence, we must use break statements. Once break statement encountered, control comes out of the switch block. If break is not given in if in a switch case statement, then until break encounters, all the statements are executed, even though those statements are not belongs to particular case. Here observe the example for switch case statement. So in switch print flag is given so that is one some integer value we are giving so if that value is one so case one is satisfied this is the case one we are printing break break encounters that means you are coming out of the switch block if print flag value for example if you give two one is not matched then two is matched corresponding printf statement is executed break encounters you are coming out of the switch block so if you have given some different value other than one and two automatically default is executed okay so you are coming out of the switch block so depending on your print flag value either this one or this one or this one is executed so that is complete switch case statement by including break now observe the following switch case statement in this switch case statement we have not included break if you don't include break then what happens for example if your print flag value is 1 then case 1 is match this is printed so no break is present this statement is also executed and uh, final default statement also executed for coming out of the switch block that is the first one for example if your flint uh, flag value is 2 then first case is not matched then second case is matched so these state two statements are printed if you give some other value other than one and two directly this is the thing is printed now observe difference without uh, using break without using break if you use break what are the statements supposed to be executed you can clearly define if you don't use break uh, all the statements are executed after case value matches with your switch expression value. Thank you.